In this video, we're going to talk about a bipartisan immigration legislation that is going to be introduced next week. So um, come on in. It's good to see you guys. I'm only going to be on for just a few minutes to talk with you about it. Good afternoon. I see you guys coming in. Thank you so much for joining me on this uh, late, well, early afternoon session. I hope you guys are doing well and that um, you're staying plugged into all that's happening around immigration. I'm going to take you into the details of this news today. Senator uh, Durbin, who is the income, well, he is the chairman now. He is the chairman of the House Judiciary Committee. I'm sorry, the Senate Judiciary Committee. He announced that he, as well as his colleague, Senator Graham, they're going to be doing some things around immigration next week. And so we're going to get into the details of what they're working on right now so that you guys can be in the loop. The legislation that they're working on and will introduce next week is its targets um, dreamers. It targets dreamers as well as individuals with temporary protected status. And let me take you into the article real quickly that came out just a, about an hour ago, I want to say, um, from the Hill. It says, let me read some elements of this article for you. Uh, Senators Dick Durbin and Lindsey Graham are introducing the Dream Act legislation next week. As senators long for a uh, as senators look for a long elusive immigration deal, Durbin told reporters on Thursday that it would be the starting base for broader negotiations within the Judiciary Committee and the Senate. He says, "If we can reach an agreement soon, very soon, we will have the base bill reintroduced, and then that will be our starting point to build support." as well as consider any additions to. That's what Senator Durbin, the incumbent chairman of the uh, Judiciary Committee, I don't know why they're saying incumbent, I believe he he's, he's chairman now as of January 20th, but in any event, um, that's what they are saying. That's what they're looking at doing, which is very exciting. Now, let me back up. I know that there's a lot to keep track of because each day I come on and I um, talk with you guys about different things that are happening, and I don't want you guys to get confused. The, in one of my earlier videos, I explained to you that the big bill that Senator Menendez has, the uh, U.S. Citizenship Act, they strategically what they're looking at doing is breaking things, breaking it up in some pieces and doing things in uh, smaller chunks, smaller pieces. Um, and so one of the things that they had talked about doing and the White House agreed to is put in the DACA and the TPS elements, um, starting out with that, starting out with those proposals because they can build bipartisan support around doing something permanent for dreamers as well as folks with temporary protected status. So the dream act, um, has been around honestly since 2001 they've been uh it it first was introduced and then over the years it was reintroduced i want to say maybe 10 times it has gone through a lot of iterations over the years and so senator durbin and lindsey graham had worked on this in the past they had introduced it in the past, but it never made its way through the entire process to become law. And so they're back again with uh, their proposal, and it's bipartisan, Democrat and Republican, introducing this. And they're working on getting the support of other members so that they could expedite this and do something fast for DREAMers as well as folks with uh, TPS. Okay. So that's, um, oh, that's, that's, those are the two priorities that they're focusing on right now, um, on the Senate judiciary side. This is different from the, the essential workers reconciliation budget matter that I spoke with you guys about yesterday. That's on a different track, that track that would provide, um, a pathway to citizenship for about 5 million essential workers is being connected or tie barred with the budget process that will begin next week. So keep, try to keep everything, try to keep things uh, organized in your mind. Okay. It's a lot of information that I'm giving you, but I want you guys to understand that 
that is different. The essential workers um, uh, proposal is different. The U.S. Citizenship Act, which would provide the 11 million undocumented um, immigrants with a pathway to citizenship, that's different. That hasn't been introduced yet. That's coming. And now, thirdly, we have this news about something that will be introduced next week, focusing on dreamers as well as folks with temporary protected status. If you're enjoying this information, give me some hearts, give me some likes, share this information with your feed. And I see that many of you are watching, some of you are watching, and I appreciate you being with me. Now let's jump back into the article because there's some really important things that were said here. So again, according to Senator Durbin, the strategy is that they will reintroduce the Dream Act, and then they're going to uh, build support for it, and then they're going to add additional things to it. Okay, additional things could will be added, such as uh, border security um, uh, uh, measures, and who knows, maybe some additional reform effort around immigration. We'll have to see as it makes its way through their uh, process. Now. Let's see. It says here that Graham and Durbin had previously introduced Dream Act legislation that would provide permanent residency and eventually citizenship to immigrants brought into the country as children who meet education or work requirements. And Senator Graham did confirm these details over the phone today to the Hill. And he said that this bill will basically mirror previous legislative efforts. And again, this is just the starting point for broader discussions that would also include border security. Okay. And that makes sense. Okay. Now here's the part that you guys need to, um, know about as well. Okay. This is referencing the 11 million undocumented uh, um, path, the pathway for 11 million undocumented individuals under the U.S. Citizenship Act. It says the Senate proposal would be substantially narrower than Biden's immigration proposal that would provide pathways to citizenship for 11 million immigrants, as well as refugee protections and border technology. Um, but the Biden administration has also reportedly signaled a willingness to break the proposal into pieces to try to make it easier to pass Congress. And that, that makes sense. Break it up into, as I've been saying, into pieces that are digestible, right? And this, what they're working on now for next week is such, um, is, is a good idea. Okay. Now let's get back into this. What else did I want to share with you? Um, now let's see. Oh, uh, Senator Durbin also said when he was asked about broader immigration reform, he warned that some things will be too much of a reach. So he recognizes that the um, proposal around 11 million people is, is out of reach at this point time. They still have to build support for it over time. Um, now let's see. My hope is that we can move through the judiciary committee, that the judiciary committee can move on this on an expedited basis, which is, um, the, the highest priorities move forward with the highest priorities. And he's building a group of, uh, legislators who might be able to do that. So they're going to expedite this in the judiciary committee and um, build some sort of coalition of legislators to help usher this uh, these proposals through. And again, these proposals, um, they're looking to build on them. Okay. So that's very exciting. Um, very exciting news. Okay. So that's the latest in some, in, in, in summary next week, uh, bipartisan legislation will be introduced. That is, that will provide, um, permanent residency, permanent. I don't have all the details yet and I don't want to go into, okay, will I be eligible for it versus will I, am I, are they going to include me? Are they going to change the DACA dates to include me? I, I don't know yet because as I've mentioned, friends, the dream act went through 10 different, it went through all these versions over the years. So, uh, we'll see what they ultimately, 
um, introduce next week to see who it captures as, uh, as well as the details about how it's going to work, conditional uh, residency and when permanent residency is going to be available versus when citizenship is going to be available. Like all of those details will need to be laid out in their legislation so, we, so that I could have a more thoughtful breakdown with you. So bear with me on those details yet. I know you're eager to find out if you're eligible for it. But right now, again, this targets dreamers and those with temporary protected status. Um, guys, continue to stay plugged in, share this information with your feed, um, continue to follow me on Instagram. And of course, uh, right here on Facebook, subscribe to McBean Immigration TV as well on YouTube. Guys, I will see you in the next update. And actually, let me just say this real quickly before I leave, um, that tomorrow, January 29th, it was supposedly Immigration's Day. Okay, but I've been hearing and reading that they may be holding, they may not do the executive orders tomorrow. So I haven't, I'm going to report out on that later today or tonight um, when I learn more information about whether they're going to move forward with those executive orders that we talked about earlier this week or not. Things around public charge, around family reunification, um, those types of details. The family immigration ban is still not being addressed by the Biden administration. They have not um, done anything affirmative yet to um, get rid of or revoke the family immigration ban. So that's what I know as of today. I will be back before you guys uh, later on with more updates about these matters in addition to some other things that um, I want to share with you. Guys, thanks so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.